Place value of a digit in a number. Hello Neha, how are you? I'm fine. I'm so happy today. You know Tina why? I don't know Neha. Tell me. You know, today my teacher taught me same as I had already learned yesterday. And I completed my homework very quickly. Now, you teach me more about four-digit numbers and after that, I will go to play. Okay. Today, I will tell you about place value, expanded form and short form of four-digit numbers. Neha, you remember you learnt in your previous class that the position of a digit in a number gives its place value? Oh, yes. So, now consider a number 3946. You see, as a number moves to the left, its value keeps increasing 10 times. Let us consider this table. You can see how is the place value of 4 increasing left to right? Oh, yes. Interesting. Neha, did you know about face value? Hmm, no Tina, I don't know. Okay Neha, I'll tell you. The value of the individual digit is called its face value. And you always remember face value is same as the digit itself. For example, in the numeral 9698, face value is represented as... Wow! Good! It is easy! Neha, I think now you have a clear concept of face value and place value. So, you can write a number as the sum of place values of its digits. Okay, Tina. I will try. Okay. So, I will give you a number. It is 7, 3, 4, 5. 7, 3, 4, 5 equal to 7000 plus 300 plus 40 plus 5. Well done, Neha. You know, this is called the expanded form. Oh, I remember. I learned it in my previous class for three-digit numbers. Yes, Neha. Then you also remember the short form? Yes, Tina. I know the short form is given by combining the face value of each digit at the correct places. Well done, Neha. Let us take some more examples. 